the show. As hip Wired magazine readers, we're all about smart home gadgets. Alexa, tell me about Samantha V. Hmm, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Bitch. <laughs> smart technology has even found its way into America's favorite home appliance. Alana Harkin went to New Jersey to learn more. This is a story about guns and gun control and what happens when people don't know how to use either of them properly. And our story begins with this guy. My name is Kai Klepfer. I've spent the last four and a half years developing a smart gun. Kai won the National Science Fair for his technology and has been called the Mark Zuckerberg of guns. Although the fights you get in using Kai's invention will end much faster. So this is the prototype of our smart gun. So this is a fingerprint sensor set into the grip. Because it recognizes your fingerprint, it means that only the owner or specific people that the owner has chosen can actually use the gun. Okay, so I was expecting some sort of James Bond looking gun. I mean, this one kind of looks like a, like a kid made it. I am 19. Oh you are so much more articulate than I was at 19, because I would be hung over on peach snaps right now. <laughs> Every year, hundreds of people are shot by someone who is holding a gun they weren't supposed to have. But are smart guns reliable? I do get a lot of concern from people of, you know, someone's gonna break in my house, I'm gonna pull my gun out and it's not gonna work. Yeah, and what if my hands are wet when someone breaks in the house? Right, see, what if my hand is covered in blood? Yeah, and someone- What if I'm in a gunfight and my fingers are blown off? Do I have to get one of my dismembered fingers and use it on the sensor? Um, if your fingers are blown off in a gunfight, you know, you're probably not gonna be able to hold the firearm anyways, but- I have feet. Yeah, I suppose. But Do you want me to pick my your gun up with my feet right now? I'm, I'm good, actually. Let's okay. let's just leave that where it is. That was six months of work. But if Kai's nerve gun doesn't have a foot attachment, then why build it? We're not trying to create a perfect replacement for every kind of firearm on the market simultaneously. But we really can use an engineering solution to reduce the main reasons why we have gun control laws in the first place by allowing smart guns to be developed and, and start saving lives. So where can you buy one of these life-saving death machines? Turns out nowhere because of a 2002 New Jersey law written by, oh shit balls, she's a Democrat. So we passed a law that said if there is a smart gun developed, that would be the only kind of gun you could purchase in New Jersey. Yes, she wrote a law mandating that all guns sold in New Jersey will have to be smart guns once any smart gun is sold anywhere in America. And do you think gun owners like being told what they're allowed to buy? Twice, gun sellers have announced plans to sell the smart gun and twice they have reversed course after an intense backlash from the gun rights activists. I received numerous death threats today. I really appreciate that, that's, that's classy. The point of the legislative mandates on this is not to promote smart guns, it's to ban regular guns. I guess I never anticipated that I would be faced with this kind of irrational pushback. About gun legislation? From the NRA? Yeah. <laughs> if only there was a firearm-based metaphor for what Loretta did. <laughs> so have you passed any other laws that had the opposite effect that they intended? Like, I don't know, like a seatbelt that could propel toddlers? out a window. We thought at the time that we wanted to do something to help spur the technology. Well, you didn't. And a crowd of New Jersey residents had some thoughts for Weinberg in a segment we're calling They had a lot to ask, but it all boiled down to this one simple question. Yes. What would happen if she does get rid of the bill? Well, it could potentially save thousands of lives, but we'll never know unless she repeals the law. That bitch should repeal that shit. Repeal it! Repeal it! Repeal it! Repeal it! Repeal it! Crazy idea. <laughs> you could just repeal this law. Mm -hmm. Then perhaps somebody will have the opportunity to create a smart gun. And then the free market decides. Well, what you just outlined is a, a very rational argument. Yeah. In fact, I made a public offer that I would rescind the entire law if I knew that the NRA will not stand in the way of such an item. And how did that go? No answer, nothing. So you offered to repeal the law. Yeah, right. But you wanted something from the NRA right. first. Right. That seems counterproductive! 
What if I go into another room and I call you on your phone and I pretend that I'm from the NRA? I don't think that would be enough to I do it. I have a very deep voice. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. No, okay. sorry. I'm sorry too, because Weinberg has the power to get the law repealed, something pretty much everyone thinks is a good idea. And while she's waiting for an empty gesture from the NRA, Kai is pressing forward as though nothing can stand in his way. About 12 to 18 months from now is when we hope to have sort of the, the technology design complete, ready to go. Now, 2018, 2019, start to sell the technology, actually have it out there in gun stores, available online, et cetera. So you think in 2018, 2019, we're going to have a functioning economy? I think that we're going to have probably... I love your hope. <laughs> we'll be right back.